In this video, I'm gonna talk about the three main steps to get an official artist channel on YouTube. This process has changed a bit. I've gotten a lot of comments and questions about this, so let's get right into it. Number one, release music through a distributor. In order to get a YouTube official artist channel, you need to have at least one release through a distributor and being more specific, one of these stores or services has to be YouTube music. So for me personally, I use DistroKid. Whether you use DistroKid, CD Baby, TuneCore, Ditto, doesn't matter, you need at least one release. Doesn't matter if it's a single, an album, an EP, you need at least one release. And like I said, one of these stores or services or platforms it's released on is YouTube music. And I will say for most distributors, they do automatically post on YouTube music, but this is a big thing you wanna make sure that is going on YouTube because once it's on YouTube, you will see yourself as like a YouTube topic channel. So if you're Joe Schmo, it'll be Joe Schmo as a YouTube topic channel with that release. Number two, create your own YouTube channel. The way it works, you have your own YouTube channel, then you have your YouTube topic channel, the auto-generated channel on YouTube, and YouTube merges them together. One thing I do wanna say as a side note is on this YouTube topic channel, like say Joe Schmo topic channel, sometimes if let's say you only have one release, YouTube might put you on this huge collection called a various artist channel. Either way, you have this auto-generated YouTube channel, your YouTube channel, and boom, they get merged together. Now, one thing I do wanna mention, and this is very important, is when it comes to your own YouTube channel, one, you have to make it on your own. So you, you know, go into YouTube, you create an account. If you already have a Gmail account, by the way, it auto generates or auto creates you a YouTube channel. Another thing, make sure your YouTube channel is also the same name as your artist name. This is important. As you can imagine for YouTube, combining both channels, if let's say you have a channel called Bob Smith Cooking Tutorials and it's only cooking videos, YouTube will not merge them. They'll say, hey, well, this is Bob Smith and it's a cooking channel and it's only cooking. And then you have Joe Schmo, the artist, they're not related in any way. So YouTube does like to see that one, the names are the same. So Joe Schmo, Joe Schmo, right? The second thing is YouTube does like to see, do you have some type of artist content on your channel? So my best advice, let's say you release a track called, I don't know, track one, bad name for a song. But anyway, let's you release track one on Disher Kid or CD Bambi or whatever. It gets put on YouTube music and everything. I would also suggest to take that same song, maybe convert it into a video, however you want, and then put it on your own channel. That way, when YouTube goes to see that this emerging process is about to begin, they can see, oh yeah, Joe Schmel, same artist name. And in addition, they have some artist related content. Now this could be a subject for a whole other video. I do know this is a big question for a lot of people is if I have an artist account on YouTube, is it okay to have other type of videos besides quote unquote, just music? This is more of a branding question. The biggest thing is you wanna make sure that when someone goes on your channel, they know that it's you, the artist. So take Dylan Francis, in case you don't know, very famous DJ. He has his music on his YouTube channel, but he also has a lot of comedy skits. He's kind of known as the class clown of EDM. So for him, that kind of fits his niche. Other artists have tutorials, other artists have vlogs. So even though they have other random videos, like take Marshmello, he has like parkour with Marshmello, cooking with Marshmello, he does BMX videos, he has all this random stuff. It all kind of relates to the Marshmello artist brand. Now, like I said, this could be a whole other subject for a whole other video. And I know I'm spending a little bit of time on this, but I do want to mention it. If you want to create YouTube videos to promote yourself, if it's related to your artist channel, put it all in the same one. However, if you want to be a quote unquote YouTuber and a musician, which actually is what I am, I have five different channels, I suggest separating them. So I have Mark Fichero, which is my main vlogs, uh, YouTube videos, that kind of stuff. And then I have Fichero, which is only my music. So I personally separated music related videos with actual like YouTube vloggy style videos. I think for 90 or 95% of musicians, 
you do want to have it on one artist account, but this is something to consider that, like I said, if let's say you already have a YouTube channel and it's only cooking tutorials, do not try to merge it. I think that's a bad idea. I mean, depending on how you go about it, I don't suggest merging it. Create a second YouTube channel. I know I'm spending a bit of time on this, but I do want to mention it because back in the day, I did merge my main channel with my YouTube topic channel and I hated it. All my videos got mixed up. Some of my vlogs were considered music somehow. YouTube kind of messed everything up and I was like, I'm never doing this again. And that's why I do want to stress, one, make sure you're picking the right YouTube channel. Again, same name and everything. And two, that is only artist related content. And you're very happy for that to be your YouTube artist channel. Lastly, number three, merge them. Now this does depend on each platform or how you do this. On Districate, it's super easy. You just have to go up to the top of your dashboard, click the main icon for the drop down menu, go to special access, and then click the YouTube official artist section, and then pick the artist name. Super easy to do on Districate, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how to do it on other platforms. I bet it's probably easy as well. All you do, like I said, is you go and connect your YouTube channel, your main one, to that platform or music distributor, and then you merge them, it is that easy. Easy. And one thing I do want to say is a side note too. Back in the day, you needed three releases. You needed to contact YouTube. Now that it's changed, YouTube's policy now about official artist channels is you have to go through a distributor. Back in the day, you could manually contact YouTube, talk to them via chat or email or whatever, and kind of set it up on your own. Now that is not the case. You have to go through a distributor. So let's say if you're not on DistroKid or CD Baby or TuneCore, if you've not released music, this will not work. I have gotten some comments of people saying, hey Mark, I, I wanna get a YouTube official artist channel before my first release. Unfortunately, you cannot do that. So again, to recap through the steps, cause these are all important. One, have a single release, an album, an EP, single, doesn't matter, you need at least one release that is also live on YouTube Music. So big pro tip I do suggest before even doing this is go on YouTube, search your artist's name and the track, make sure it pops up in the search results. Make sure that that release you can find on YouTube on a topic channel, whether it creates a topic channel for you as an artist or it's on a various topic channel. The next thing you wanna do is create your own YouTube channel and make sure the artist names are correct and there's some artist related content on that channel. Like I said, if you already have a random channel, like say Bob Smith's Cooking, uh, if you have something like, I don't know, Kyle's Fitness Videos or something, I don't know if that's a good idea to merge them. Maybe create a second YouTube channel and then put all your music related stuff on that. Once that's done, you then go to your distributor, connect and merge both channels. And then in terms of the timeline, it can take up to six weeks being honest is pretty quick. I'd say in about a week or two, you will get an email from YouTube saying, hey, you're now in the official artist program. They're gonna merge everything together and then you'll finally get that cool note check mark and be verified on YouTube.